Hello and welcome and happy Valentine's Day. So today I'm going to be playing Catboy Paradise, uh, ne Neko Para, Neko Para game. It turns out there's a whole ton of these in the system. Now I don't know if they're all all just lewd and depraved uh, anime hentai games, but uh, this one I believe is safe-ish. And as something of a Catboy myself, I thought this would be a good one to play, so jumping in. Fennel. Flannel. Lovely jacket. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, good morning, Fennel. There's no point in me having sound on. Ah, adds to it. Oh, pretty early. Hmm, I see you're 10 minutes early. That's good. We can get started ahead of schedule. I make it a habit. Away. When did you get here anyway? You were here before us, so um, 15 minutes ago? Says Dill. Fennel, 30 minutes in fact. 30 minutes, Dill and Sage both shocked. We will be meeting our employer for the first time today. Being late for such an occasion would be out of the question. Having said that, arriving too early is also considered improper. That is just such a nice jacket. Aha! You sure talk this, take this stuff seriously, Fennel? Hang on, where's Lauria? I don't see him anywhere. Uh oh, we should. What should we do? It's almost time. Give him a call? So, which one's Sage, which one's Dill? Okay, so he's Sage. Big, tall cat man. He's not picking up, but is connecting. His phone is definitely on. Fennel, he leaves us little choice. If he's not here by meeting time, we'll have to go ahead without him. Now, I've assumed I'm running a cafe, but that's possibly just because it's got the word cat in it. Hey, it was called Catboy Cafe, wasn't it? Yeah. Guess he's not going to be here in time, says Dill. Dill, the little pickle wink. Fennel, dressed to lovely. Mm, trying to work out how Fennel can relate to that. I hate it. Mm, let's go. Okay. Can't wait to see what our boss is like, says Sage, the tall one. It is a cafe. Whoa, look at all these antique wall clocks. Not one in sight, not a single clock. Dilla. Perhaps it's the owner's hobby. A man of culture, I see. Does that make you cultured? If you just collect clocks, do you get to consider yourself cultured? Huh. I heard our boss is a woman, fresh out of college, says Sage. Then perhaps her grandfather was responsible for decorations. I believe he was the original owner of this place. Am I going to play the... Am I playing the lady shopkeep then? Or shop owner? Now then, she... Maya. Oh. You guys are so loud, I was having such a nice cat nap. There's Lordia. Ah, so Loria was here before any of us. Saying Loria does just make me think of, like, Moria. Mines. What are you doing? Maya, isn't it obvious? Maya, is that a, a statement or is one lead? No one's called Maya. Yeah, so Maya, isn't it obvious? I'm asking, what do you think you're doing sleeping on her lap? I'm not great at like m mixing accents and you know different voices, so essentially everyone's going to have the same posh British voice. It's the only time I'm going to apologise for it. You're just going to have to deal. I'll be sleeping here from now on. Isn't that right, Mistress? Ooh. See, she says yes. No one said a thing. Oh, was I the mistress? Aha! From where I'm standing, it looks more like she doesn't feel like she can refuse. If you don't like it, you need to say so, otherwise a cat boy will simply walk all over you. Hmm, I don't think cat boys will listen either way. These cheeky cat boys. Well, this one's the little thing people love about him. It's one of the things people love about him. Exactly. Maya, I'm sleepy. Back to bed. So I got little Laurel Moria on my lap. Aha, you're such a feel spirit. Spirit, Loria. I don't know if you can hear any of the sounds I just heard there, but there was a rustling like something sitting on my lap. 
All right, we haven't introduced ourselves yet. Did L'Oreal? <sighs> oh, well, Moria's already asleep. Let's have a look. It's chains, nice pocket watch. It's a good look. He's already asleep again. So, should we go ahead and introduce ourselves, Fennel? Indeed, I shall go first. I am Fennel. My favorite food is... Prosciutto and cream cheese pasta. I would assume meat. I can cook any of any cuisine, be it Japanese, Western or Chinese. The free cuisines that exist. But my speciality is pasta dishes. My hobbies are working and reading. I'll be here to instruct you how to be a full-fledged cafe manager. I look forward to working with you. Now, as someone who wants to set up a cafe, I'm hoping to learn a little bit from this game. The name's Sage. Fave, fave, fave foods are grilled fish and doyaki. Speciality in Japanese dishes. I like trading, taking baths and trying all kinds of different sweets. Hmm, didn't take you for a big bath and sweets guy. Sage, you're a tall man. As a tall man myself, I know it's hard to get in a bath. I'm pretty strong, so leave the heavy lifting to me. So, okay, I can relate. And also, I realise you have bathhouses in Japan. Places where you can go and have a big bath. I'm Dill. My favourite foods are Hamburg steak and amulace. Amulace, that's an interesting word. It's like mollus. Rather. I'm good at cooking all kinds of western style dishes, but I guess my specialities would be my favourite foods. I enjoy walking and reading fashion magazines. Okay, yeah, I, I get that. I mean, you're wearing a yellow raincoat and a vest, but the rest of you looks pretty fashionable. I know it must be a lot, what with your granddad passing away and you suddenly having to take over the cafe, but we're all here to help, so let's do our best together. Okay, so now I'm not sure if I am the cafe person. I assume I must be, but then I was outside listening in. It's, it's hard to tell. It's a mind-bending game. L'Oreal, it's your... L'Oreal... Moria. I'm just going to call it Moria. It's the only word I can think. It's your turn. Mm. Moria! Maya, no need to shout, I can hear you. Gloria, here I love sandwiches and I'm great at making them. My hobbies are sleeping and toying with things. <laughs> if you want me to do my best work, I'll assume you'll be offering me an appropriate treat in exchange. Gloria, please don't make our employer feel uncomfortable. Hey, ha ha ha. Hmm, so the four of us are going to be working here at the cafe. It looks as though everything has been prepared for opening, yes? We should be able to open the first thing tomorrow, then. Which means we could sleep all day today. Oh, disagreeing. I'm not even giving them a chance. Hmm, you want to show us around the place? I mean, we're going to be living workers, aren't we? Are you? Hmm, I can't wait to see what kind of house we'll be living in. Is this normal? To own a cafe and have all your workers live there? Whoa, it's like something out of a movie. Or, like the house that time forgot. It's not that old looking. Your grandfather has refined tastes indeed. See, I feel like my voice is probably this guy, but he's the one telling the story. In my mind now. I am sure the interior is just as splendid. I am most grateful for the opportunity to stay in such a place. So long as there's a roof over my head, I can sleep anywhere. You've made that perfectly clear, Mordor. Sage. Yes, yeah, same here. Really? You too? Anyway, enough chatting. Can we get her to show us around? I want to do a more cutie kind of voice for Dill. Anyway. No, I just can't pull it off. Fennel, indeed, if you could please lead the way. Well, look at this place. The colour of the walls harmonises with the vintage furniture to create a most pleasant atmosphere. I don't actually know if this is even a dating sim. The whole idea is that this is, you know, Valentine's Day dating. But um, realising now it's just called Cat Cafe. I might just be running a cafe with sexy cat boys. What better spot could there be to enjoy a morning coffee? Ah, good night. Lazy. No, I relate. Laurier really can sleep anyway, huh? Well, early's bed makes a cat boy healthy and all that, so I'd say he's got the right idea. 
Sofas are for sitting, not sleeping. Beds exist for a reason. Come on, a sofa's a bed to a cat boy. Anything's a bed to a cat boy. Exactly. We'll sleep anywhere that's comfy, like our mistress's lap, for instance. Climb on on, board. Uh-huh, this guy gets it. Although if I tried that, I'd send her legs to sleep, too, and that ain't no fun. I think I can understand the appeal of a good lap, too. <laughs> hmm. Now that we've seen the living room, what do you think you show us our rooms? We're gonna be on second floor, with all four of us be sharing a room? If that's the case, I'll take the living room, I can't stand noise. I will also require quiet in order to focus on my studies. Fucking at a cafe, what, yeah, actually, student's cafe makes sense, but you're so well dressed. That being said, I cannot in good conscience approve of sleeping in the living room. Personally, I like things to be lively. I like having fun with you guys too, so I'd be fine rooming together. You absolute mess. Ha, huh. we all have our own rooms. Wonderful. So, I'll be able to sleep as much as I like? Maya. Mwah. Maya. Hmm, just when I got my hopes up. It's okay, you can come and hang out in our room, Sage. You're welcome in mine any time, so drop by whenever you... I mean, look at ya. I'm up. I'll take you up on that. Just too pretty. Wow, there are so many rooms. Hmm. So that door on the right at the end of the hall leads to Gramps' study? We better keep out of there. Which one's your room? One across from the study? Then I'll take the room next door. Hey, Mordor, no fair. You snooze, you lose. I don't make the rules. Fennel's probably the only one who'd... Who's been... Uh, well... Fennel's probably the only one who'd be up to a match with me, but I'd still win regardless. If you wish to become her house cat, you simply need to prove you're used to her. Dating some good. Of course, I'm confident I can do just that. Ah, uh, competing against each other won't get us anywhere. I'd rather we all be friends. I like you, Sage. I'm with Sage. Why can't we all become our house cats? Oh, but if we do, I still want to be her number one. Hmm, cheeky dill. What's this yarn? What's up? Why do you look so confused? Hmm, you thought we were only here to help out with the store? And this is the first you're hearing about house cats? Did the school explain it to you? Oh, well... No wonder you're totally lost. I not did, or didn't they? Yes, they didn't. If you could humor me for a moment, do you know what cat boys, what lad we cat boys attend school to gain knowledge in general life skills, yes? Of course you're aware of that. Students are then able to graduate upon finding either a permanent employer or an owner. Are cat boys a servant? Asked. This world. It's a bit strange. I'm not sure I'm okay with it. I sort of am. But I shouldn't be. Some of them graduate pretty quick while others take longer. I do want a house cat. It's fun learning new things, but at the end of the day, we're still cat boys, you know? We just want to find that one special employer or owner who we can love with all our hearts. So we're kind of hoping that would be you. No, no, don't need to apologise. Our fault for getting our hopes up. I'm not crushing their dreams, am I? They can all be my house cat. I'm happy with servants. I don't see a problem, said Mordor. What was that, Mordor? L'Oreal? She wants to keep the cat fave running, but she doesn't have the staff for the business savvy. Alright. Now we're also just... Now we're also beginners when it comes to that last part. But we can learn on the job, can't we? So wait, what are you bringing to the table? He has a point. If you wish to become a house catcher, you simply need to prove your use to her. Even if she has no interest in the idea to start with, her feelings may change if we prove ourselves. You know you get cat cafes where they just have cats wandering around. How good would it be if they were like just servitude, just bringing you the tea? Like, right. Wow, you two are really thinking this through, huh? Everybody loves cats, but the ways to bring her around to the idea. Americanized. Oh, that's L'Oreal. For example, winding your tail around her like so. And looking up with a sweet little meow. That's bound to do the trick. Yep, 
You okay there? How many times did I have to tell you not to make her uncomfortable? How could she be uncomfortable? I'm still simply acting like a cat. Uh, yeah, like a fully grown sort of five, nine, six foot cat. It's a bit... Ah, taking as tired, talking has tired me out. I'd be sleeping in my room. Honestly, that fellow. Well, you know a cat boy's gonna do what a cat boy's gonna do. This has been all pretty sudden and I'm sure she has a lot to digest. Why well, don't we call it a day? Indeed, which room will you be using, Dill? Hmm, I'll take the one next to L'Oreal. Then I shall take this one closest to the stairs. I'll be your neighbour, Fennel. Let's work on this. Which one's Fennel? Fennel's the thing, so he is the... Now everybody should have their own room, yes? Yep, but um, that house cat stuff... You can't make a decision right now. Do you want to consider it? So you want a bit more time? This is close to the, probably the Mickey Mouse voices I'm allowed to legally get. You? Sure. I'm... Wait, sure. I'm super duper happy you're even willing to think it over. We haven't been given... We haven't been given a time limit by the school. We shall work our hardest in order to convince you that we are the cat boys for you. It'd be awesome if we all became house cats together. Like an American? I don't know what that is. First things first. We're here to assist with the cafe. Tomorrow will be our first day, so let's all do our best together. Okay. You. You bet. No, where's the most of my American there? Yeah, bet. Yeah, bet. Jumped. Snooze. Ah! Whoops. I don't know how I can do this one. This just looks like another posh guy. Shush! Keep it down. I didn't expect you to suddenly flip over in your sleep. You almost whacked me. Hmm. Why am I sleeping next to you when I have my own room? Because it's a bed. Cat boys can curl up and sleep anywhere at any time. I don't mind sleeping in my own room, but I sleep much better when someone somewhere comfy, you know? Plus, I sleep best beside you. That comes as a surprise. I've taken a liking to you. You flustered reactions are always so amusing. I'm a prankster, so I absolutely adore humans like you. I think I'm trying to do French, maybe? How about you? Are you catboys like me? Not your taste. Your face tells me... Hang on. Your, how do I do French? Just across the channel. Uh, you, your face tells me I'm not sure how to answer. It's not a bad look on you. Come on, come closer. That's more like it. I'll be out like a light in no time. Now I'm just struggling to try and keep it French. Keep it, keep it on you. Makes sense with Lollier being the name. The nom. Oh, it's you. Why are you awake at this hour? I see, so you can't sleep with Lollier right beside you. Understood. I shall go wake him. Why not? You feel bad waking him when he's sleeping so soundly? You're always so lenient. You end up being taken advantage of. Give an inch and they'll take a mile. But if you insist, I will leave him be. However, if you find yourself in need of my assistance, please do not hesitate to ask. I do not require your thanks. We are the ones imposing on you. It's only right that we should offer as much help as we can. That's why I was... Yes, you caught me reading up on cafe management. But I will also be my first time running a cafe. I felt I should read as many books as possible on the subject. No, I'm not... Though I'm nothing special, my personal motto is, if you're going to do something, do it perfectly. See? So, you don't know if I'll be able to do it perfectly, but you intend to do it to the best of your abilities? That's wonderful, and it's just what I would expect to hear from you. If we apply ourselves, I'm sure the two of us will be able to improve our skills together. A handshake. Yes, it is a pleasure to be working with you two. Now then, we have an early start tomorrow, so should get some sleep. I shall stay up studying a little longer. Yes, good night. Right, what a challenge. 
Backlog, nope. Go away. A lovely place. It's more a house than a cafe, but. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna go with American. Okay, no. Ask Mr. McKay. Mackay. Uh, hmm? Oh no, it's you. Morning. Yeah, I'm always this chipper. Ah, that was close. The saucepan almost boiled over. Yes, I'm on breakfast duty this morning. Hmm, now that you mention it, I guess we didn't tell you. Last night we all had a chat and decided on a cooking rotation. You? You're our boss and our landlady, so you're not obligated to cook. Aha, <laughs> don't look so sad about it. Hmm, do you like fried eggs? Yes, you suppose so? Well, that's perfect. I just finished frying them. So you can be my taste tester. Where am I going with this? On New York. Like, friends. Ah, say, ha. Or well, like a cowboy, maybe. What's up? I'm feeling you. Wait, is me feeling you too embarrassing? How can I not do American? American's like the basicest accent. It's only you and me here. No one's gotta see us. Come on, open wide. Hmm. Good girl, want some miso soup next? Or a bite of this stew? You're worried that if you eat too much now, you won't have room for breakfast. You must have a teeny tiny stomach. Alright, just one last bite. Say ah! Uh... Whoa, she dashed off quick as a cat. Hmm, oh well, guess I'll have to taste test the miso soup myself. Ah! So it's like a Chandler Bing or Jerry. Jerry's like Italian American, that doesn't work. I just don't know if I can do an American. Ah, I hope she didn't scold her tongue. Beep. Now I can do a Mickey Mouse. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm okay. What about you? Okay, glad to hear you're not hurt. You got me a real scare, though. Bursting in through the living room door like that. Did something happen? Oh your face is all red. Do you have a fever or no fever, that's a relief. Oh, me? Oh, I just got back from a stroll. Yep, I suppose you could say going on walks is my hobby, but it's more than I've just got moved here, so I still don't know what the town has to offer. Alright, this... <sighs> on my walk, I discovered all kinds of new places. This is horrible, isn't it? I'm just gonna switch back to... There's a fancy store, a little shop tucked away in one corner. It's not a posh bridge I'm going for. There's a fancy store, a little shop tucked away in one corner. Plus I found this park that looks great for sunbathing. It's the perfect place to curl up on a bench for an afternoon catnap. And I'm definitely going to go there when the weather's nice. Oh yeah, there was a convenience store right by the park. So I stopped by to pick up a magazine. Hmm, which page was it again? Aha, this one. Look at this outfit. It's so on trend right now, and I think you'd look amazing at it. In terms of makeup, I'm better in a slightly sultry eye would be a perfect match. Ah, like I mentioned before when we first met, I'm really into fashion. The magazines don't cost that much, but when I want to buy any f everything I see in them, I try to restrain myself, but somehow I end up buying the entire outfit right off the page. You know how it is. What's that? That must be why I'm so stylish. He is perk up. Well, thanks. That's a huge compliment for anyone who's into fashion. I'm stoked. Truth is, I was worried you'd write me off as a shallow, wasteful kitty. Hmm, I collect makeup too. I know it's a bit of a waste since there's tons of colors that don't even look good on me, but like makeup these days is so cutely packaged I just can't help myself. So I figured if you'd like, you could use some of it. Oh, you're not confident in your makeup skills? Want me to teach you how to apply it then? Yeah, okay, haha, <laughs> you're a perfect canvas already, so I think we really play up to your features. Still, oh, you're both here. What are you doing? No, no, just... Oh, morning, fellow. Good morning. We just happened to run into each other, so we were chatting about fashion and makeup and stuff. 
How commendable. Our jobs involve dealing with customers face to face, so we have to take care of our appearance. Her looks and demeanor will certainly make a favorable impression on our customers. With a little extra effort with her clothing and makeup, I'm sure we can make her even more improvements. Uh, Fennel, you're making her uncomfortable. I apologize for intruding on her, your personal space. Hmm, you're a natural smooth talker, aren't you, Fennel? Maybe I'd better keep my eye on you. Ah, morning, Lolia. Good morning, I am most relieved you are, see you are awake. Ah, oh, Fennel is not L'Oreal, sorry. It's because I had a little incentive from her. Ah, what sort of incentive? Did you give him some kind of present? Hmm, your face is all red again. Are you sure you don't have a fit? She's getting me a bed. A bed? Hang on. Did you two share a bed last night? Yeah, but not on purpose. He creeped in. I do recall her mentioning that she couldn't sleep due to L'Oreal's presence beside her. You knew about this, Fennel, and you're okay with it? I didn't really expect her to pick a house cat so soon. What? It doesn't mean he's your house cat? I'm a bit of a house cat whore. Oh, I see. L'Oreal's the one at fault here. I'd be super shocked to wake up next to someone too. Why were you sleeping in her room anyway? You have your own, remember? See that, boys? Sleep where is comfy, don't we? I'll be seeking you out again tonight, mistress. Hey, no fair. I wanna sleep with her too. Yeah, boys also never give up the comfy spot. Ah. Now, the two of you are making her uncomfortable. Hmm, it's that time, is it? I believe it is Sage's turn to make breakfast this morning, yes? Oh, I thought it was noisy out here. Since you're all out here in the hallway, it saves me having to round up breakfast. Round you up. Breakfast's ready. So come on in. Hmm, smells like miso soup. Is that not... Oh, well, I was going to say is that not breakfast, but I do remember taking international flights and finding out that breakfasts in other parts of the world are a lot more... I don't want to say savoury, but yeah, like... A lot more what I think of as dinner, so... Does that mean we're going Japanese style today? It's nice to return to our roots sometimes. Hey, where are you sitting? Over there. Then I'll sit right next to you. Smooth. Aha, early cats get the mouse, right? They sure do. Wait, you just sat across from her. Yeah, playing it smart. Hmm. So it's not all about being next to someone, facing them is just as good. You mind if I sit beside you, Dill? Be my guest. I'll go next to Lurdy. Alright guys, let's dig in. Let's dig in. Hmm, the scrambled eggs are so fluffy and yummy. Is there some sort of trick to get them to turn out so well? You gotta make sure to preheat the frying pan and add the egg mixture in batches to let it in air so it fluffs up. Don't forget about the stew, I'm pretty proud of that too, I could eat stew bread. You have every right to be, it's extremely flavorful. It's also fresh off the stove, so it's still steaming hot. Ah, you're really wolfing it down too. Whoopsie, hold a sec, hmm, lick. Whoa, whatever's the matter, it's bad manners to stand up from your cat, your chair during a meal. I see, he started you by licking your cheek. Nothing weird about a cat boy licking things. Hmm. Right, it's how we show affection. Sage, please stop before you give her the wrong idea. She's even more flustered now. I can deal with it. I lick people. It's just it's how you show affection. Can't deny he's right though, can you? Maybe not, but surely there are other ways to phrase it. It is in a cat boy's nature to lick others. And it is evidence of their trust. I believe that Dio feels a familial affection for you, and that is why he licked you. I just feel comfy around you. I wasn't thinking. <gasps> but I promise I won't do it during work. And I'm really, really sorry for doing it out of the blue like that. You forgive me? Yay! Also, just now, um, it was more that you had some food stuck to your cheek, and I just had to get it. I'll be more careful from now on, but I apologize in advance in case my feeling instinct slips out again. 
slip your feeling instincts out anytime you want. Anyway, ha! I can't be blamed for acting on instincts, and you're sorry for making a big deal out of it? No, no, it's fine. Tee hee. You're really nice, you know that? Like, nice enough that I might just fall for you. <gasps> Dill. Ah, uh, sorry. Oh, I feel mad. Mmm. Oh, the soup's getting cold. We don't want to waste a good meal, so let's eat. That hit the spot. You're already finished? Yep, what can I say? I take big bites so I clear my plate quick. Are you chewing properly? It's not good for your stomach to inhale it like that. Thanks for the concern, but my teeth are doing plenty of work, so no worries there. You look really into that sauté petoc loot. Want mine too. Say, why would you feel bad? You don't need to be polite. Come on, as I don't mind if you eat it all. Please don't feed the girl, Lolliel. You're making it sound like she's a cat here. She's the cat here. Oh, you didn't get to have any of your burdock root, Lolliel? Here, I'll give you a bit of mine. Well, I'm good. Haha, no need to be all modest. Hmm. Are you perhaps not a fan of burdock root? Oh, is that why you gave her yours? I can't handle the spice. I was just gonna say I want to look at burdock root and just give it a try. I mean, I imagine it's like dandelion and burdock, like like or like a potato here in its rooty. But if it's spicy, hmm. Really, I had no idea. Now I feel bad. Well, he words where. When you were making it, hmm, but this is a good opportunity for us to get to know each other's dislikes. For me, it is pretty much all a spicy food. There isn't really anything I dislike. Oh, except hot drinks, I guess. Cafe, hot drinks, yeah. There are no foods I particularly struggle with either. I don't really like raw fish. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, weird for a cat boy. Yep, when I was a kid and I got sick from eating more fish. Haven't been able to touch it since then. How about you? Any foods you don't like? Hmm? Not really, huh? That's great. You aren't picky. Is it great? Tonight I'll make sure to cook something that everyone can enjoy. Oh, it's your turn tonight, is it? I can't wait to see what you make. You can't either? I'm on breakfast duty tomorrow, so I hope you're looking forward to that too. You won't be able to get enough... Oh, wait. They want to be able to get enough of my food. Okay, everyone. If you're finished eating, please help clean up. If we keep dithering, we'll be elating opening. Whoa, you're right. Alright, let's get this stuff cleared away. Oh, right, okay. So that w this is the cafe. This isn't just the place we've met and we live in a house. Phew, we made it in time. Ah, oh, look at the smart uniforms. Yeah, in fact, we're in such a rush that we actually have loads of time to spare. I like those. They're like Julio eyes or something. I don't know what they're called. Why it sounds like that. It's an old person thing. Grandpa and the Simpsons has it. I want them to come back. So look how cool that looks. Yep, we opened at 10, but it's not even 8 yet. We could have taken it easy. On the contrary. There's much to do before opening. Setting up the register, checking the dishware, running through the stock of ingredients and drinks, giving the interior a thorough inspection for cleanliness. And most importantly, planning the day's promotional activities. No matter how well we prepare everything else, we cannot expect to welcome many customers if we slack off on the promotion. Is everyone aboard with that? Hmm, we've already delivered flyers around the neighbourhood. You say you've reached out to Cafe's regular customers and you are working on a website. Please allow me to take a look. Well, what should the rest of us do during opening times? Hmm, could you please do a hygiene check and also make sure we have enough drinks and ingredients and stock for the day? On it. I see, so you forget to check the silverware. What's that? There are still some unopened boxes? Well now, this means we're not quite ready to open. Even if it's not something we need right away, we should still check the contents. Can I ask you to do that, Sage? Sure thing, leave it to me. Now, that just leaves Lily without a task. What are you doing, Lily? Setting up the cash register. 
I've made it so little seats have the cafe's name printed on them too. What's this? There's a cat symbol above the cafe name. Since we have a cat boys working here, we'd be passing up a great opportunity if we didn't use it to our advantage. Not unusual to see a cat boy staff member these days. Still, it may attract some people if we advertise we're working here. An excellent idea. I've also set up so it automatically applies the discount when you put items together. It'll save us the hassle of having to dis calculate the discount manually. What's wrong? Cat got your tongue? My apologies, I was under the impression that we weren't interested in anything other than cat napping, but as it turns out, you're actually very talented. Oh, I don't know about that. I did work pretty hard though. What lead do you have in store for me, mistress? You haven't worked enough to deserve a reward just yet. Now that I'm aware of your skills, there are several tasks I'd like to assign to you. Firstly... Oh, he's, he's back soon. Aha! He could do anything if he put his mind to it. The fly in the ointment is his feline fitkenness. Hmm. Oh yes, you are going to show me the website. The layout is clean and easy to navigate, however, I think there's a lack in photos of the interior. It'd be a waste not to show off the cafe's wonderful retro charm. I love the grapes. The design agency. Hmm, I see. I will contact them and discuss the cost of revisions. I've gone into French now. Yes, you want to include a photo of us too? I think that's a good idea. We'll have to see what others think of it though. Let's ask them now. Wake up, Mordor. He's not twitching a whisker. Sorry, but could you please try to wake him? That's right, be gentle. Click, click. Ah! Is it open in time already? Not yet. Our mistress has suggested we take a group photo and upload to the cafe website. Hmm, sure, why not? Okay, so you will ask Dylan the Sage? Whoa, whoa, mind blown. I've just realized all of them are named after herbs. I'm such a fucking idiot. <laughs> it's like, Dill, he's named after a thing. Fenner just ignored that. Okay. Phew, all clean. Hmm? Oh, what's up? Yeah, just finished sweeping. I was about to head back inside. If I just give one of them my voice, I can strain it. A group of photo. A group photo? Oh, that sounds like fun. I'm definitely in. Oh, hang on a sec. I wrote the opening times as a special on a sign, and I put up a little doodle too. Uh, what do you think? I'm good at drawing? Hee <laughs> hee. Thanks. Ah ha ha ha. I think calling me a pro is going a bit far. Okay, I've got to ask Sage to take a look too. Oh, Sage. He was in the kitchen going through the ingredients and drink stock, so I think he should still be there. He lifts those cardboard boxes with one hand like it's nothing and uses the other to pull stuff out. It's so cool. It must be nice to be that strong. I'm envious. Huh? You're jealous of my art skills? Hee <laughs> hee. Whoops. Sorry, it didn't let me keep you. See you later. Alright, that should be everything. Oh hey, it's you. What's up? You finished your stuff? Ah, a photo of us for the website? Sure, I'm game. Is everyone else in? Then let's do it. Yeah, that's right. You said we're some up op unopened boxes, so I've been going through them all. The mugs, glasses, and plates we'll be using the most are often are in the middle shelf in the cabinet. Whoa, what do I do? Ah, you don't need to thank me. I told you to leave the manual labor to me, remember? Dragon boxes of ingredients in the kitchen can't be much fun for you, so just give me a call whenever you need something moved. I'm happy to help. He's my role in things. I like in the grunt, in the lug. Atta girl! Ah, you don't like me patting your head. Hmm, so you don't dislike it, but it's not the kind of thing you do to a human. Ah, you're absolutely right. It makes it hard to tell which of us is human and which is a cat. But why should it matter? Like, you're clearly as good, if not better, than us. It should all be the same. How about if I do this? Think you can reach my head now? Yeah, that's nice. Sage, what are you? Whoa. Still is a jealous one. Whoa. What on earth are you tell yelling about Dill? Oh my. Hmm, didn't expect you to go behind our backs like this, Sage. What do you mean? Oh, I get it. Oh, yeah. 
You'll want her to pet you too. Not bad. <laughs> Look like you find it more than just not bad. Huh, me? Okay then, just a little. Ah, oh, that feels nice. Fennel. Come on, Fennel, let her pet you too, it feels so good. No thank you, I will pass. Fennel! But every catboy loves a good head pet. You know exception, right? See, she wants to do it. Come on, just let her. Still, I said no. Shh, it's fine. Ugh. That seems very, um... Not... What's the word? Non-consensual. Hmm, he is liking it, though. Ah, so you're totally enjoying it. As a cat boy, it's simply in my nature. Anyway, we're supposed to be taking a photo, weren't we? I shall get into position. Hmm. Ah, it felt so awkward that he ran away. Fennel's actually a real sweetie, isn't he? Okay, we should follow. Where should we all stand? Sage is the tallest, so maybe we should go at the back. Indeed, Lily is the second tallest, so we can go next to the Sage. Dear and I will be in front. Hmm, like this? Eh, Sage! Whoops, my bad, you were just in the perfect petting position. You're totally developing a bold spot, Fennel. What? Please don't joke about things like Gladly Immortal. It's not funny, I almost lost one of my lives. Don't be mad, anger makes your hair fall out, don't you know? You are the ones saying things that make me angry. <laughs> oh hey, she's waiting for us to be ready. Delightful. That's not the position you mentioned you were going to be in, but, you know. Did it turn out okay? Yeah, it looks good to me. Check it out, guys. Oh yeah, it looks great. I think all our personalities shine through. Hmm, very good. Everybody's in focus. I'll send this to the design agency and ask them to turn it into a header. Ah, if we're all done here, I'm going to catnap until opening time. We opened a tent, so we got half an hour. Oh, I've got an idea. Hey, why don't you have your mistress pretend to be a customer so we can practice? Hmm, none of us have had customer service job for us. So that'd be beneficial. Wake up, Laura. You need to participate too. Ah, if I'm not allowed to rest now, I'm going to need plenty of treats later on to make up for it. So, who's going first? I mean, I will. I mean, it was my idea. Okay, then take it away, Dill. Okay. Hmm, should we start from you entering the cafe? Yep, let's do this. Just been kicked out of my own cafe. Welcome, I'll show you to your table. Please have a seat here. Here is our menu. You can press this button when you're ready to order. A button? Oh, the restroom. That would be... Uh, it's over there. Please enjoy your meal. Uh -huh. Why are you sighing? I thought you did pretty well. When she asked me where the restroom was, I couldn't answer right away. I realised that I haven't taken a good look around the whole cafe. Give them a Luke wine now. If I do it with a real customer, they'll totally realise I'm a newbie. So I was sighing because I basically failed. Failure is a step in turn to success. You can use what you learned next time. Besides, it wasn't a complete disaster. I didn't notice any problems with the way you addressed the customer. My apologize if I am being completely honest, I'm a little worried you might act overly familiar with them. Aha, I get it. I know I'm pretty casual with everyone, so I can see why you'd think that. Oh, wouldn't you guys prefer to be more formal with you? Doesn't bother me, keep doing what you do. I think it'd creep me out if you were. As long as you're aware that this is time and place for it, I have no problem with how you currently speak. Thanks, guys! Oh, the customer's calling for me. Be right back. May I take your order? Oh, it's the chef's special. Let me check in with the kitchen. I'll just be a moment. Fennel! What's the chef's pasta special? Special pasta. Chef's special, though, I did notice on the menu. That was my oversight. Hmm, we have a lot of spinach, so let's do a creamy spinach and bacon pasta. Other customers will probably ask the same thing, so make sure you all note it down and memorize it. Okay, right, well. I've not been given many opportunities to try and actually uh, marry any of these cat, cat, cat lads, but, um, yeah, uh, just, just on 
adorability maybe going for Dill, you know, just just that cute catsy kind of thing. Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy with my choice. I'm gonna I'm gonna get off this now. They're, they're not giving me enough to enough to click, but it is an okay, nice story. I think if I want to live out my having a cafe with cat boys fantasy. I would play this, but uh, that's that is the one and only time I feel like this game can be. Luckily, I do have a fantasy of having a cafe, and I do like being a cat boy, so it is actually almost made for me. But, if you want to see this carry on, if you want to resume the story, just let me know. I'm sorry I can't do accents, more than just the one posh British one and the French one that accidentally sometimes feels a little racist, but, like, yeah, maybe it's something I need to work on, especially if I ever do a bit of DM in myself. But it's been good. Um, I've enjoyed looking at sexy cat boys, and happy Valentine's Day. May all of your romantic dreams come true that's that's something to do with valentine's day cupids and all that flowers get some flowers go buy flowers and see you next time bye